Welcome family and friends of the 2018 eighth grade class at Tartesso Elementary. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Keplin James. the accomplishments of our eighth grade students and to recognize a few students for their achievements. Special visitors today are our superintendent, Dr. Paul Tai, assistant superintendent, Mrs. Vivian Martinez, and our governing board members, Dan Blackson, Paul Roetto, Bonnie Hudson, and Bernadette De La Cruz. We have two speakers today. These students were named valedictorian and salutatorian. They received this honor for having the highest overall achievement among the eighth grade students for the entire school year. Our first speaker will be our salutatorian, Dax McGill. Dear parents, teachers, friends, and fellow classmates, do you know the saying, anything can change? The times that I've been at Tartesso truly matches that quote. I've been at Tartesso since kindergarten, and it makes me so happy how much it has grown. But of course, I couldn't do this. It was, there are so many people that made Tartesso what it is now. Uh, let's thank all of our outstanding teachers for being so dedicated. We are so lucky to have them, and without their support, I wouldn't be giving you this speech. Not only have our teachers helped us, but so have our fantastic parents. Our parents brought us here to the school. Without them, uh, you wouldn't have an amazing education that our wonderful teachers provide. Of course, I can't forget my lovely mother. She is my role model and best friend. She taught me the importance of treating everybody kindly and respectfully. Without my mother, I wouldn't know what being responsible, courteous, and kind meant. I still remember the saying that she used to say to me all the time, always listen to others because one day that advice will help you. In truth, my mother, teachers, friends, and my fellow classmates' advice got me here. Thank you, thank you for everybody that has helped me on this road, especially you, Mom. Do you know the, you know the saying? Anything can change. To everybody, everyone that goes by, <laughs> every year that goes by is another year for friends, teachers, and other people like are dear to you, leave you. This may be the last time you'll ever see your friends. Instead of looking at their Snapchat posts, call them up once in a while to see what they've done. I made some extraordinary and amazing friends that we'll never see again but I'll still remember the memories that I have with them. We're not done yet. This day is only a footstool to our next big step. Congratulations, class of 2018. Our next speaker will be our valedictorian, Cameron Paz. Hello, everyone. My name is Cameron Paz. I would like to start by giving a round of applause to our amazing teachers. They have, def they have definitely gone above and beyond to ensure that we made it to this point today. And we should sincerely thank them for that. They have seen us at our best, and believe me, they have seen us at our worst. <laughs> this is only the beginning for us. We will be starting high school next year, and many of us will be heading in different directions. This is the point in our lives where our decisions not only impact ourselves, but impact others as well. Now is the time to start clean. Forget all about those past mistakes you made because the time is now to start fresh. It is, the, it is the decisions you make from this point on that will decide your future. So you need to use your head before jumping to action and making the decision. With that being said, we are the future of our society and it should be our duty to make a difference. 
I came to Tartesso, it's <laughs> I came to Tartesso in sixth grade. When I first came to school, I didn't know what to expect. The school I attended previously was in one of two campuses that was a K through fifth and had over a thousand kids. And now I was in a, K a school that was K through eighth and had barely 400. I didn't know exactly how to act or how to respond since it was a drastic difference, but it took me no time at all to make me feel at home. I had to leave during seventh at the beginning of the year and I had to go through that transition all over again. <clears throat> However, the transition was a lot over, harder to overcome and I noticed how unhappy I was. This was because of the difference of the surroundings I was in. When I went to Tartesso, I was at a school that made learning a treat every day and transitioned to a school where people criticized you based on who you were and what you did. That's when I truly realized where home was and where I was supposed to be. So I came back right back to the place I could proudly say is my school. I want to give a couple people my thanks. Let me start off with two teachers. One is Ms. Payton. She was such a great influence and has become a huge role model in my life. I won't ever forget the things she's taught me. The second is Ms. Quinn. I don't remember how many times I had to stay after school to get assignments done. I'm sure every single kid has been in our a class a couple times this year. She's always in her room after school to support students and allow them to turn in work at any time. I also want to give some recognition to the three kids that made the most impact on me. These three kids are Dax, Tomas, and Kyle. Uh, thanks to these three, every day of learning has been an absolute blast, and I wouldn't want to trade these people in for the world. There are so many wonderful memories I can think of when I think of this school. I remember the time when Tomas came to school in jeans and a nice shirt instead of basketball shorts and, teach, and a t-shirt. It was a huge surprise. <laughs> I remember all the times Dax, Kyle, and I have stayed up just late goofing around and laughing until we couldn't breathe. I remember at one of my first school dances I went to in sixth grade, I jumped and made a huge hole in my pants and had to sit down. <laughs> I remember when I came into class in sixth grade after I had my surgery and was out for about three and a half weeks. It was greeted to everyone clapping and was given a huge hug by Miss Payton. I remember when I was a chaperone for a field trip for the fifth graders to Skyline Park. There are so, one, so, so many more wonderful memories, but if I would continue to say them all, I would be up here forever. It is these memories that make this school one in a million. So I want to cut right down to the chase. This school has been a wonderful experience for me and has thoroughly prepared me for what is to come in high school. I'm thankful to be valedictorian for the eighth grade. I, and I thank you for listening to me. I wish all of my fellow students the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Wonderful job, both Cameron and Dax. I would now like to introduce Ms. Wright, our seventh and eighth grade math teacher, who will be presenting a $50 scholarship to the Tonopah Valley High School bookstore from the Buckeye Lions Club. Good morning. This recipient had to exhibit good character and they must attend Tonopah Valley High School next year. This award goes to Geneva Hernandez Marquez. Congratulations, Geneva. I would now like to introduce Ms. Quinn, our seventh and eighth grade science teacher. She will be presenting five scholarships awards to the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station. These $50 scholarships are to be used for the purchase of school supplies. Recipients must meet the following qualifications. Obtain a B average or better, they must be a hard worker, and they must have a good attitude. The recipients of these awards are Carlos Montiel. Yeah. Andreas Magani. Yeah. Emiko Martin. Yeah. Sephora Love. Yeah. Brianna Trujillo. Isaac Kurtz.
Congratulations, recipients. I would now like to introduce a third guest, Ms. Brown, our seventh and eighth grade ELA teacher, who will be presenting two $50 scholarships by the Tartesso Student Council. Good morning. These recipients earned the highest grade point average for the 2018-2019 academic year for the entire eighth grade class. The first award goes to Cameron Paz. The second award goes to Dax McGill. Congratulations, Cameron and Dax. Parents, guests, staff, and community members, seated in front of you today is a group of bright, high-achieving individuals that are about to embark on the next step of their academic journey. Students, congratulations. You are now almost high schoolers, prepared for increased responsibility, a heavier workload, additional stress, and more opportunities than you could ever imagine. I want to personally thank each and every one of you for your contributions you have made to Tartesso Elementary School. Whether you have been here for one month, two years, or your entire elementary school experience, you have touched my heart and left a lasting impression. I am extremely proud of you, and I know that you will continue to show the world your brilliance. Today is truly a day to celebrate. Your family and friends are here to honor your accomplishment of your passage from elementary to high school. For the past nine years, you have worked for this moment. You have had the opportunity to build friendships and learn from your mistakes and triumphs. Today, we embrace the end of one era and the beginning of the next. While this is time for everyone to enjoy, it is important that you also focus on the future. The end of eighth grade is only the beginning. You all have the opportunity and the potential to be successful in the future. It will take hard work and continued focus on your education. As you move on to high school, the academic and social demands become more rigorous and consistent effort will be required to achieve your goals. I challenge you to give your best every day and to continue to focus on your dreams. Be kind in all you do and always ask yourself, are my words and actions necessary, helpful, and kind? With these thoughts, I wish you the very best of luck in your bright futures and good luck next year in high school. Brianna Altman. Reagan Chafee. Chesa Cowdell. Khalil Curry. Ashton Denny. Michael Esparza. Johnnyri Evans. Jeffrey Fernstrom. Mariana Finley Jane. Christopher Gialanza. Caitlin Gialanza. Ryan Gialanza. First row, please be seated. Second row, please stand. Isabella Gramajo. Daniel Guzman. 
Ángel Hernández. Genive Hernández Marquez. Trinity Hoffman. Ethan Hopkins. Gabriel Hutchison. Brady Jackson. Keplin James. Jameer Johnson. Stefan Krizanovic. Kayla Kruger. Second row, please be seated. Third row, please stand. Isaac Kurtz. <laughs> Dylan Lafferty. <laughs> Emily Lewis. Sephora Love. Ethan Luna. Andres Magaña. Mara Maitner. Kyle Marsh. Emiko Martin. Juan Angel Martinez. Isabel May. Cortez McFarland. Third row, please be seated. Fourth row, please stand. Dax McGill. Skylar McNeil. Carlos Montiel. Tomas Moreno. <laughs> Sofia Morrison. <laughs> Cody Payne. <laughs> Cameron Paz. Emma Plonsky. Lex Pue. Joseph Quaranta. Jacob Ramirez. Cameron Ryman. Smile, too. Jacob, look at me. Smile, Jacob. Jacob, you're going to get it. Jacob, look. 
Smile, Jacob. This is going to get you at home. Fourth row, please be seated. Fifth row, please stand. Ammon Ricks. Thomas Ricks. Judith Ruiz Velarde. Adriana Salais. Iris Segura. Anaya Sloan. Andrew Smith. Ashara Smith. Brianna Trujillo. Tony Van Busker. Dominic vs. Lewis. Miguel Villalobos Lira. Emil Wheeler. each teacher would like to come up and say a few words. Our first speaker will be Miss Quinn. Nelson Mandela wrote in his autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. Life is a journey. There will be many hills to climb. Some of the hills you climb will be mountaintops of struggles, others summits of success. No hill is easy. It will be in the struggle of the climb that you find the meaning and triumph in life. The hills you climb will form who you become and your attitude during those climbs will give your life its flavor and meaning. The cynic would say, yeah, just another hill to climb. How much better to be an optimist and to view the hills as steps to a life of victory. You have worked hard to climb the hill the, that you, of success that you are standing on today. You have seen achievement and failure during your climb. Learn from this experience. As you continue your life path, strive for success. Do not fear failure. Both are necessary to learn and grow and to achieve a life of strength and victory. As J.K. Rowling said, it is impossible to live life without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Thank you, Ms. Quinn. Our next speaker will be Ms. Wilgen. Good morning. Um, I'm Ms. Wilgen. I've had the honor of being the middle school social studies teacher here at Tartesso this past semester. This eighth grade class has made a huge impact on me during my first few months as a teacher. Eighth graders, I would like to thank you for being so welcoming as I took over your class halfway through the year. You were kind, respectful, patient, and ready to learn each day and it was truly a pleasure getting to know all of you. 
Each of you brought energy, positivity, and individuality to the classroom and made it an awesome place to be every single day. Going forward, I hope you will continue to bring with you these traits and your excitement to learn, and in doing so, I know each of you will succeed. Although I was only your teacher for a short amount of time, I want you to all know I will miss you. My upcoming eighth graders have big shoes to fill, um, and I'm proud of you. I'm happy to say you did it. You are all almost officially high schoolers. Congratulations. Our next speaker will be Mrs. Dobish. I'm honored that I get to be a part of this exciting time in your life. As many of you know, I stepped into a new role this year, going from the classroom to the gym. To be honest, the first couple weeks, I thought, what in the world did I do to myself? I was worried. Some of these kids were driving me crazy. They put me to the challenge. It is a completely different scenario building relationships in the classroom compared to in PE. You don't have nearly as much time to spend with them getting to know them, so it takes a lot longer. However, I quickly learned to say, knock it off or you're going to be running. <laughs> in all seriousness, I find myself anxiously awaiting my eighth grade periods now. As a teacher, it's always important to reflect. Over the years, especially this one, I've helped conduct many teacher interviews. One question we ask is, why do you want to be a teacher? Every time I think to myself, how would I respond to that question today? Why do I want to be a teacher? It's not because I love parents from previous years, you knew this was going to happen. <laughs> it's not because I love teaching. It's not because I love hearing myself speak in front of others. It's not because I love planning or correcting papers or because my paycheck allows me to do shopping sprees at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I love you. I truly love you. And I know that all these teachers sitting beside me love you too or they wouldn't be here. I love you too. I love you. I told Ms. Burton it wasn't gonna happen this time. <laughs> I love seeing you grow, both in academics and maturity. I love seeing you develop into caring, thoughtful, inspiring young adults. You are our future. Each and every one of you are talented, smart, and capable of success. No exceptions. I encourage you to continue setting goals, whether they are health goals, academic goals, career goals, family goals, behavior goals, whatever goals you want to achieve. Today is just one of the many milestones you will accomplish in your journey. I look forward to seeing where you travel on your journeys. As I said earlier, I anxiously await my eighth grade period classes now. But now I anxiously await watching a meal and many of my boys on the basketball courts next year. I await the possibility of Michael and the Ricks boys opening a restaurant and inviting me to their grand openings. I await to see if in a few years Cameron or Dax or Khalil become politicians or motivational speakers or Emma writes novels. I await I await to see if Juan Angel becomes a nutritionist or Sephora a psychologist. I await to see if Emiko or Brianna play in the Tonight Show band someday, as if I'm able to stay up that late anymore. I await to see if Adriana becomes a reading teacher or Skylar becomes a counselor. I await the day that Ryan plays in the, the piano in a piano restaurant. I await the invitation from Reagan to dinner in Oregon as I travel on through to Washington. I await the time my car breaks down and Luna says, ah, come on, Miss Dobish, bring it to my shop, I gotcha. <laughs> I anxiously await to see where each and every one of my kids goes from here. Today, tomorrow, next year, five, 10, 20. As you guys all challenged me this year, I now challenge you to build positive relationships with those that you meet along your journey. Set personal goals, make a plan, and reflect along the way. I wish you the best of luck, and I look forward to hearing from you in the years to come. Our next
speaker will be Miss Wright. Okay, one last time, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Please gently tap your neighbor if they're still having side conversation. Hello, my name is Miss Wright, and welcome to the wonderful world of mathematics. First, we will start with DMS, DMR, and today's lesson. <laughs> oh wait, no you will not, because today is your last day as an eighth grader here at Tartesso. Over the past two years, we've enjoyed making my favorite number posters, 3D shapes with Play-Dohs, math robots, and pointing out who said the SU word in my classroom. <laughs> We've learned how to add its opposites and use KFC. So don't be afraid of high school math. Use your math rules, check your answers, and when you get them right, remember, check smiley face, heart, and flower. <laughs> Take care and congratulations on your promotion. Love, Miss Wright. And last but not least, Miss Brown. I love y'all too. Good morning, students, parents, and staff. It has been a great year at Tartesso, and I have no one to thank but these wonderful students that I see before me today. The courage, commitment, and thirst for knowledge was evident when I first met these students back in August. For those of you who don't know, I taught reading and writing this year. My goal was to impart some academic knowledge as well as real world knowledge on these students. And I believe I have achieved those goals this year. If any of you kids missed the lesson, here's a quick one. First, make a plan and work your plan. If it doesn't work, go back to the drawing board and try again. There is no shame in starting over. Two, do things to the best of your ability the first time. Half effort earns you half reward. Three, be patient. Just because things are not working at your pace does not mean it will not work out for you in the end. Last but not least, number four, get out. I know you have heard me say this at the end of class on a daily basis. You probably thought I was being rude, but here's what I meant. Get out of the habit of procrastination. This will help you become more productive. Get out and explore new things and meet new people. You'll never know who could be that new best friend or what could be that new favorite hobby. Get out of the habit of blaming others for your mistakes. Instead, figure out how you can learn from those mistakes. Get out there and be the best person that you can be. You represent more than just yourself. You represent your family, your teachers, and your community. So make us proud. I wish you all nothing but success in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Outstanding job, seventh and eighth grade teachers, thank you. There are several people I would like to thank for making this year a huge success. Thank you to Dr. Paul Tai for recognizing our accomplishments and for your support and guidance the last two years. Thank you to Mrs. Vivian Martinez for your continued support and positivity over the last six years. Your leadership is admired and appreciated. Thank you to our governing board members, Mr. Blackson, Mr. Roetto, Mrs. De La Cruz, Mr. Keith, and Mrs. Hudson for your support and attendance. Thank you to the City of Buckeye Lions Club the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station, and the Tartesso Student Council for the Generous Scholarship Awards. Thank you to Ms. Quinn, Ms. Wright, Mrs. Wilgen, Ms. Brown, Ms. Betcher, and Mrs. Dobish for holding your eighth grade students to the highest expectations and for your outstanding work as a seventh and eighth grade team. Thank you to Mrs. Martinez, Ms. Angie, and Ms. Nikki for putting up with these crazy kids during lunch. <laughs> You are all truly remarkable and absolutely appreciated. Thank you to a woman who wears many hats, Annette Oyarzabal, for being such an outstanding and supportive secretary. You have incredible organizational skills, a fantastic work ethic, and take charge attitude. Thank you to our nurse, Miss Michelle, for going above and beyond your duties 
to help with school events, teacher and parent requests, our awesome watchdogs program, and for developing relationships with our students that are unparalleled. I think some of our kids fake being sick just to go to your office and see your f smiling face and hang out with you. Talking about me, guys. Tomas Marino. <laughs> Thank you to our maintenance staff, Lori Bezik and Jim Coles, for setting up events, putting the risers up and down a million times a day, and keeping our building clean. Thank you to our amazing tech duo, Mike Bailey and Joel Wisser, for being dedicated and knowledgeable VEX Robotics coaches for the last five years. They also took our students to the World Finals last year. An additional thank you to Mr. Bailey, who donated the chairs for our ceremony today. I appreciate, admire, and respect what you both do, and thank you dearly for your continued support. Thank you to Tammy Dirksen, Jana Weston, and Nikki Hill for coaching our Odyssey of the Mind teams this year. All three coaches will be taking our two teams to the World Finals next week in Ames, Iowa. This incredible opportunity wouldn't be possible without the coaches' fundraising efforts, as well as the generous donations from our parents, staff, and community members. Thank you to our stellar school resource officers, Officer Lumadu and Officer Vargas from the Buckeye Police Department. They've built wonderful relationships with our students, and they have kept them in line. Thank you to our PTO for providing decorations and refreshments today and for helping our school the entire year whenever we have needed anything. We do not know what we would do without you. Thank you to our eighth grade class for being respectful young students this year, for helping out whenever needed, and for making good choices. I truly can't believe the growth I have seen in the last 12 months. You have continued to impress me this year, and I'm so excited to see you succeed in the future. We wish you the best of luck next year as freshmen. And most importantly, thank you parents. Thank you for sharing your wonderful children with us each and every day. And thank you for choosing Tartesso. Before the class is accepted by Dr. Tai, I would like to let parents know that families are welcome to stay and enjoy refreshments provided by our PTO. If you continue celebrating with your child this afternoon, please check them out in the office. In addition, I want to remind all parents that students do need to attend next week. They have their field trip tomorrow to Sunsplash and they will have classes next week with an early release on Thursday. The reason we scheduled the promotion early this year is because our Odyssey of the Mind teams are heading to the World Finals on Tuesday and many of our eighth grade students are flying to Iowa. So that is why promotion is this week, otherwise it would have been scheduled next week. So sorry, eighth grade students. You. you must come next week. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, I would now like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Paul Tai, who will accept the eighth grade class. Well, eighth graders, I'm pleased to let you know that Tonopah Valley High School principal, Mr. Garcia, is in the audience back there. He's ready to welcome you to high school. And I'm honored to be here with you to introduce you or proclaim you as the high school graduating class of 2022. So congratulations. Would the 8th grade class of 2018 please stand?